Oh, hey, folks. First time doing the whole vlog YouTube thing. Figure I'd give it a shot here and just talk about a whole bunch of things from video games to music to movies to technology to what's going on in the world. Here we go. I want to talk about first person shooters and what is happening to them. And I want your guys' opinions of what you think is happening to the first person shooter market. It seems like every game is starting to take up the whole uh, Call of Duty mechanics. Now, I respect Call of Duty. It takes a lot of heat and all that. And I respect that it's going for its realism and all that. You know, tuck your gun, whatever. But why has it flooded into so many other games? Especially fantasy games. You know, what's wrong with holding every gun in, in your inventory? Like, every weapon in the game. What's wrong with being able to run really fast and... Or, you know, be able to move really fast. And then, like in Duke Nukem 3D, in some other games, there's a run button. You push it and you go even faster, which is really crazy. and makes multiplayer even more intense. What's wrong with those elements? And I'm seeing every game since Call of Duty on the console is real big. And I knew there was... I know there's some of the games that had this whole tough gun thing, but it was some with Call of Duty. I don't know if it was just such a blockbuster game and that they just figure, oh, well, if we have the same kind of mechanics that it'll just work. It's almost like uh, Pixar and Disney, where Disney fired all their animators because whatever his name is running Disney said, well, hmm... People are going to see Pixar movies because the, the CGI is just so amazing to look at, and that's why people are going. But that's not the case. It's the story and all that. that play. That's why people go to see Pixar movies. And the flashing is from TV, like flashing screen, a lot of explosions happening. It's pretty cool. But um, people want don't want that. You know, and video games are suffering this whole realism thing. Like, every game's got to be so real and this and that. It's just ridiculous. You know, you get into a video game for to get away and go into a fantasy world. And yes, you know, some games are still fantasy, but they, you, you know, you, oh, I bump into this, something's going to happen, or this, and it just takes it away. And I just, every first-person shooter is adopting this whole mechanics of Call of Duty. Tuck your gun and run, two guns, um, wheelchair gameplay speed, Duke Nukem Forever. What happened to that game? Oh my god, Duke Nukem 3D walks all over that game. It walks all over. When I saw Duke Nukem Forever coming out, I was just... I was like that. I was just like, oh my god, is this really happening? And then my friend ordered it. I was getting ready to pre-order it myself. And I saw a clip of him tucking his gun. And I'm like, oh my god, no. Oh my god, it's 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 lingered into Duke Nukem. Oh my god, it's really ha like <laughs> the apocalypse. You know, it's all happening. And, and the game was just... Uh, it was... A pitiful game pitiful just pitiful game and I, I it was a really bad game um, so what's happening to games like Quake Unreal the fast paced games what is happening to them and why is it that all these first person shooters are coming out on consoles and not on PCs I know a lot of them are still coming to PC thank goodness I still play Soldier of Fortune 2, if anybody out there knows that. I play it online. It's awesome. <clears throat> Playing that for a while. Play Wolfenstein. Um, Halo. I haven't played Halo in a while, and that was a lot of fun online. Um, you know, in that game, Halo had a lot of those. You can only hold this many weapons, and this and that. But not every game picked that up after. It seemed like after Call of Duty, every game had to follow that whole mechanic. And it's just, uh, it's, it's a nightmare. It's frightening. And, um, and, and first-person shooters, honestly, for me, 
Maybe they, are they slowing them down because it's not as qu on a on a controller? It's not as easy. I don't know. I I am way more familiar with keyboard and mouse. I feel more comfortable. I feel like I can just jump in, whereas controller, I just don't feel like I can jump in as well. Um, so yeah, so it, it's a weird uh, it's a weird thing that's happening um, also what is with you know PlayStation or Xbox not having keyboard and mouse or even like have that just uh, you know I'm not saying it has to come with it or anything like that but why can't that be uh, an option so you can play those games even better I think that would be uh, that would be really great and um, Yeah, so I just want your thoughts on it. My mind, it's something I've been thinking about for a long time. and You know, I, I, I put up videos of myself on other things and have not really got any response. And so I'm going to try YouTube. It's the last resort. Try it out. So leave your comments. Let me know what you think that's happening in First Person Shooter. Let me know what your favorite First Person Shooter games are. And like I said, you know, I respect Call of Duty. I just don't understand why all these companies are selling the mechanics of Call of Duty. Now, if some other games did have that same kind of mechanic thing, it's all right. But it seems like every first-person shooter game is copying that. Let me know what you guys think.